I'm not turning. No. <laughs> Get your shit together, Michelle. <laughs> I, I've been a little, my brain's been a little squirrely for the last few days. Um, trying to come off of Seroquel. Actually, I mean, it's honestly going pretty well, all things considered. It's just, um, uh, uh, like, there's, it's just a lot of, <laughs> a lot of, uh, activity. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. Um, it's just a lot of activity. And, and it, 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 like, um, uh, presents itself in, like, in a way there where I can't, like, do anything. Hold on. Real with drags. Oh, jeez. <sighs> like, I can't, like, I, I, I was at my desk this morning at work, and there was stuff that I, I, I think I had to do, but I just couldn't, like, do it. I was just, like, I, I don't know. I, I can't. I can't. I don't know what that is happening. Hopefully that'll get better. <laughs> um, I, I may be, um, cause I'm trying to like, like, I just want to stop. Like I'm, I'm done. Like I need to not be on Seroquel anymore. I've lost like, bumpy road, bumpy road, bumpy road. I've lost like eight or nine pounds in the last like five days. It's insane. It is insane the amount of weight that I have lost. Like, it's good. It's good. But like, it's also weird because I don't, um, I, I didn't, I, 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 I'm not telling people like what the medication is, but I've been pretty open to people that, um, I've, I've said I've, there was a medication that I was on and I gained a whole bunch of weight and I am now off of this medication. And there's this one lady who sits behind me at work and I told her, I didn't tell her that it was Seroquel cause I don't want people like looking it up, you know, <laughs> cause if you look it up, the first thing it says is antipsychotic and I'm like, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's, although people would not be surprised, I don't want to advertise that. So, um, I told her that there was just a medication that I was on that made me gain a whole bunch of weight and I went off of it. And I was like, and I told her this morning, I'm like, I've lost like nine pounds. And she's like, that's great. Congratulations. And it, in my head, I'm like, don't congratulate me. Like, it's not like... Like, I, I get it. She was just being nice. And I'm not saying that. And I, I mean, to me, it's nothing to be congratulated over. You know, it's nothing, like, it's nothing that I did, <laughs> you know, other than I'm putting up with the side effects of no longer being on my antipsychotic <laughs> and waiting for maybe the Abilify to start working eventually. You know, like, you <laughs> know. That's the only thing that I should be congratulated over right now. Like, I shouldn't be congratulated over losing weight that I had, shouldn't have gained in the first place. You know, like, it, it just feels weird, you know. And she's not the only one that's done it. I mean, that's just what normal people do. Like, oh, you've lost a bunch of weight. Congratulations. It's like, oh, I don't want to be congratulated over that. <laughs> I mean, cool. Yeah, it's cool that I've lost weight. Like, I even feel like I look thinner now, you know, like just in my camera right now. Like, I feel like I look thinner. I don't know. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> but, oh my God. So, this is just a side note. Everybody knows that I'm into the Girl Scouts. I've been doing this day camp like every summer. I'm, I skipped like 10 years of my college years. Yeah, and, and I said that right. I, I went to college for about 10 years. <laughs> I got my bachelor's and then I got my master's. I hope that light was green when I turned. Um, so yeah, I was in college for about 10 years. <laughs> Various degrees. Um, and um, I skipped this like day camp. There's this day camp that I've been going to basically since I was six, you know, 
fix this goddamn thing. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so they were, and, and anybody that doesn't know, again, I'm pretty open about it. <sighs> about it. The fuck. <laughs> Um, I was, I have a background in graphic design. I've made flyers before, like a lot of flyers. That's like what I do for whatever reason. That's like, I don't know why I'm the flyer guy. Like, that's just me, you know, like, oh, you need a flyer, you need a brochure, Michelle could do it. You know, yeah, okay. Oh, Jesus. Um, so... This day camp was looking like it was going to have to be canceled this year because we only have like 30 people signed up and we need at least 50 to do the camp. So I had volunteered to do a flyer for it, of course, because I'm the flyer guy. So let me turn the air conditioning down. It's only like 80 degrees and I'm like, max air. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't do heat. Like you could see me sweating, like I'm already shiny. And it's only like 80 degrees outside, it's really not, whatever. So I did this flyer. <laughs> it looked great. It looked great. The Girl Scouts are apparently very picky um, about like what their logo can go on, which is funny because the the flyer, the liar, <laughs> the flyer that I got from them was a, a total piece of garbage. Like it was, it was, it sucked. I don't even know how to say it politely. It sucked you know, in terms of design. So the one I did was like pretty interesting. Like the problem with the problem with people that don't know how to do graphic design that try to do graphic design is that they tend to do blocks of text. And in a flyer that's problematic <laughs> because problematic. <laughs> in a flyer that's problematic because you can't have like a big block of text. Nobody's going to fucking read it. So you have to kind of know, oh, this is the amount of text I can get away with, um, where people will still read it. Um, but, and, and it also gives you the right amount of information. It's like this, it's a very, it's a, it's a delicate balancing act, more delicate than most people give it credit for. So I sent this flyer to um, the, the powers that be, and I'm like, I, um, <clears throat> and I've done flyers before, and I've put the logo on it before, and I've never had an issue. I've sent it to people, and they're like, okay, looks good, you know, but now this one, for whatever random reason, they were like, no, you can't have the logo on it. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. So... They were like, okay, well, we have a designer that just does the basic day camp flyer. And I'm like, I already got the basic day camp flyer and it was terrible. <laughs> I didn't actually say that. I like the lady that sits behind me. I'm like, can you come over here and read this and make sure I'm not too bitchy? But basically I was saying, um, yeah, I already got your flyer and, um, it didn't, I think I said something like, it didn't create very much interest and it looked like the day camp was gonna need to be canceled. So the one I designed was a little more dynamic, hopefully to make a little more interest and you know, more people to encourage signups or something. I don't know how I worded it. I don't even remember some diplomatic shit. I don't know. <laughs> Eventually they were like, okay, well you gotta take the logo off and then it'll be good. You know, so good. What the fuck am I talking like today? I'm, I'm like, I'm from Ohio. I'm not from Minnesota. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me today? But, um, uh, I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> God damn it. I got distracted. I totally got distracted. Anyway, I, I, but yeah, so I, I had, I went home at lunchtime, removed the goddamn, the offensive logo. <laughs> <laughs> and then I reposted the flyer like, okay, this has been cleared. You're okay to share. Because we need people to sign up for this day camp. Because I love this day camp. My mom has been going to this day camp since the 60s. <clears throat> so, um, I've been going to the day camp since 1987. <laughs> It would be a fucking shame <laughs> if it actually got canceled. But anyway, half of my brain is Girl Scouts. Like, I don't know how this happened. I don't know. I don't 
I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know what happened to me, but literally probably more than half of my brain at this point, more than half of my brain is Girl Scouts at this point, thinking about whatever event we're doing next. <sighs> just stresses me out just thinking about it. My heart just went, <laughs> just like thinking about Girl Scouts. Uh, okay. All righty. All right, and I am looking forward to Troy's live stream that I will finally get to watch because he always does live streams at night and I can't watch them. So I will be watching at, I think he said 2 o'clock Central, so that's 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So excited that I'll actually be able to watch. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do a live stream of my own at some point. I don't know when. Um, those are kind of tricky because I, I am never alone by myself and I feel weird um, either doing a video or doing a live stream when there's people in my house. So um, that's tricky. In with the good air. Out with the bad. Okay. <laughs> like my chest is still like... Anyway, peace out.